Okay, so I'm back in the fens. Uh, a few of you actually commented on um, my first vlog I did at St Peter's Lighthouse in the fens, right on the edge of the wash. I'll put a link to it up there or there. Um, so you commented that you actually quite liked the fact that there was a photographer or even a vlogger um, coming to this remote part of the world to um, show it off really. And yeah, it is bleak. Um, there is um, a lot of open skies, big open skies around here, as you can see behind me. Um, but it's got some character and certainly in the winter when it gets even bleaker, I think it really does um, come out. So what I wanted to do today was to do a vlog to try and show off some of the bleakness to the fens. Now I've picked a grey day, um, didn't do it on purpose, it just happens to be a grey day, but I'm thinking that this will probably work to be honest because I think it will show off the bleakness as it is. Um, it's extremely flat. There isn't anything around at all, as I said in my first vlog. Um, so it's all around picking out some of the lines, some of the um, some of the detail that could become interesting in an image. And I'm gonna see if I can do that today. So my plan is to visit a few local locations. Uh, I actually live not far, from, well, I used to live not far from, from here. My parents still live around this neck of the woods. So I do know this area quite well. Uh, I'm actually stood at the moment right on the edge of a hundred, uh, hundred foot bank, I think it is, yeah, 10 mile banks that way. Uh, you've got Welney uh, in the background there, Welney Washes and Welney Wildlife Trust, which you may just be able to see in the background, which actually there's a connection because obviously St. Peter Scott, who was in the lighthouse on my first vlog, was the founder of the world uh, of the uh, Wetland Wildlife Trust, which has got its uh, head office, uh, or an office anyway, there in, in Welney. So if you like wildfowl, if you like bird watching, it's a great place to come. They've got a dedicated resource set up there to overlook the, the washland. Uh, and uh, I think there's a swan feed on in a couple of hours time, which I'm not going to go to because today is about getting out and about. So, so yeah, I thought I'd do a, blo a vlog um, today on uh, the fens just to see what I can capture. Not sure how I'm going to get on. We'll wait and see. But hopefully I can get a few images that you guys like and we can show off the fens for, um, for what it is. We should be proud of our roots at the end of the day. So... Uh, let's see how we go. So now I'm at Denver Sluice, um, near to Downer Market. And I've actually set the camera up to take an image of the sluice gates themselves, just there. I think they actually should or could make a reasonable image. Um, so what I've done is I've set the camera up. I've got the 70 to 200 lens on. Um, just took another shot so you can see there. And whether you can see what I'm doing uh, in the camera there. As you can see, it's, it frames quite nicely in the middle. Um, symmetrical lines, the um, red boys at the bottom, I think are quite nice. Um, so yeah, I, hopefully it'll be a reasonable image. We'll have to wait and see. It might be black and white. Um, I might keep it color, who knows? It's the beauty of photography. So yeah, this is uh, Denver Sluice. I'm probably gonna head off to um, Denver Windmill now. There is a a windmill that was built, there's many windmills that were built around here, um, again to help the pumping stations, to um, help the water be pumped through the drains. Yeah, I'm rambling, right, I'm going to head on to Denver Windmill and I shall see you there. Okay, history time. 
So we're in the Fens. Uh, Fens is a big area, it covers about 1,500 square metres. Four counties overall are in the Fens. Now the Fens themselves were uh, once the washland, just complete water. And what they wanted to do was to reclaim the Fens um, to use the uh, fertile soil for um, agriculture. So the Earl of Bedford employed a guy called um, Cornelius Vermoyden in the early 16th century. Cornelius Vermoyden was obviously from Holland, uh, used to draining the, uh, the, the flat areas over there. He employed a load of locals and they built the, um, the fens as they are now. They dug the drains, they built the high banks, um, the sluices to stop the tidal water coming in and did a great job um, to the point where the local fen guys actually didn't like it and there was a group that were then called the fen tigers that were fighting against uh, Cornelius's crew because they thought they were going to lose their ability to, to fish, uh, which in, in those days was their livelihood really. So, um, <laughs> funny, it probably still goes on today. I remember, as I said earlier, I was born and bred in this area and uh, used to go down the pub on a Friday and a Saturday night with my friends and we were fighting then, mostly over women to be fair. Nothing changes. Denver windmill. Um, there it is. One of the most picturesque of settings. Um, brambles and thorns and bushes all over the place. Uh, the other side isn't much better. The sky is okay this way, which is why I've set up here and I've taken a shot, but really don't think it'll be much, but I've taken the shot because I'm here and that's what I've come to do today is to take images of the fen. So uh, yeah, Denver windmill. There you go. So this is the fence, wind turbines, pylons, as far as the eye can see, but it's my roots and I like it. Um, I actually, I've stopped here on the way back, uh, I need to get back so I need to call this vlog soon, but um, I've just, obviously I was looking for a wind turbine because there's so many of them in the landscape now obviously it's flat and therefore there's a lot more been installed recently for, for you know wind energy but um, you know they do make a focal point so what I've done is I've got the 70 to 200 out and you can see the sky is quite nice underneath the turbine actually you've got a, the, the sun's starting to light up a bit at the bottom it's becoming I think it's nearly four o'clock now and you've got the drain I think this is a middle level drain that goes down here again as far as the eye can see so I've actually got the 70 to 200 on. I've zoomed in a bit on the turbine and then I've got a little bit wider, got some of this nice coloured foliage, uh, grasses and reeds in the front here in the, uh, in the image. And I've, a, I've taken a few images. Um, hopefully they'll be okay. I'll put them up clearly if they are. So yeah, um, the fens, the flat fens. Um, I like it, you know, I, I was born and bred here, so I'm bound to say that, but I'm going to probably do a few more vlogs from this area because I really don't think I've done it justice today. Um, there's a lot more to be done in the Fens. As I said earlier, the bleakness, I need to bring that out and I don't think I've really done that today. Um, I've run around a little bit to try and find different locations, um, but I'm going to do it again. So keep tuned to the channel because my plan is to do more local uh, shoots similar to this. Uh, probably a bit better planned where I know exactly where I'm going and the type of image I want to get. So yeah, stay tuned. I hope you like this vlog today. A um, bit short and sweet. but So again, if you have liked it, give us a like. Um, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, I've got over 50 subscribers now. I can't believe that. In three vlogs, I've got 50 subscribers. I'm well chuffed. So yeah, subscribe if you haven't done. Click the notification bell and uh, keep tuned for uh, future vlogs. Um, I've started with a GoPro today, GoPro Hero 7 that I've bought. Um, it looks to be okay. Hopefully the footage has come out okay. And I've got the Smart Lav microphone in uh, as well, recording off to try and improve my audio because for those who watched my previous vlogs, um, my audio has not been great. So hopefully that's been a bit better today as well. So anyway, hope you liked it. See you soon on the next vlog and uh, yeah, see you then.